All right, so there's guys out there who promise themselves the night before, you know, just before they're about to go to sleep. They'll promise themselves, okay, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be consistent with my no fap. I'm going to make sure I meditate in the morning. I'm going to make sure I work this many hours. I'm going to make sure I do these 10 different things. And then tomorrow comes around. And let's say they even stick with it. At best, they'll stick with it for a few weeks. Then they'll slip up. And then they'll feel guilt, shame, anxiety. And then they'll constantly be stuck in this cycle where they stick for these things a little bit. And then they slip up again. And they look back at their life maybe six months down the road, a year down the road. And realize they've made basically no progress towards their goals. Whereas there's other guys out there who don't do any of this biohacking shit. They don't do no fat. They don't do the 20 other different things. Yet they make great progress towards their goals. I'm going to talk about the difference here specifically. I'll talk about my experience with self-improvement. The good and the bad which can actually lead you to not achieve your goal. Right? Without further ado, let's dive into it. I remember clearly I was laying down on my bed. And I just, I don't, I just fapped, right? And I remember taking a pen and there was like this little poster print out on my bed and I wrote down on it. I wrote a big ass message saying, this is my promise to myself. I'm never going to do this again. I'm never going to fap again. <laughs> right. And then I went to sleep and, you know, this will probably not come as a surprise to you if you've been in a similar situation, but uh, not long after I relapsed, and I did it again. Right. This leads me to the first point, which is I was constantly stuck in the cycle of guilt where I was making little to no progress, right? Because I would commit myself to, to these like 20 different things, no fab and this and that, this and that. And I'd slip up on it. And then I feel so bad about slipping up. And I look back at that now. And I realize how counterproductive it was. It was basically just cycles of guilt followed by uh, sticking with something for a little bit, followed by more cycles of guilt. And it led to basically zero progress towards my goals, right? And part of the issue here is um, the self-improvement, uh, other content creators, right who you may look up to at this time i definitely look up to looked up to them back then and they'll tell you oh you, you got to be perfect bro if, you, if you're not perfect uh, your your other male competition will over uh, overtake you bro uh, if, you, if you can't even stick to your 20 different habits you're not a masculine man bro like, don't take that thought throw it way out the window all right we don't listen to those people they're putting a train of thought on us that's not going to serve us whatsoever look like i could that's a whole separate rant i I'll probably will do it in another video but I can tell you that very few of them are probably staying consistent with all these things that they stay, say that they're being consistent with. And to a certain extent, this is a meme, right? And there's people hopping on this uh, on this hype train, right? Just because they're interested in making money or getting views. It's kind of like this Andrew Tate um, um, the self-improvement thing going on where Andrew Tate's obviously got a lot, of, a lot of eyes on him. So these guys will just say things. They may not even be living that lifestyle. And they'll just say it. They make a, make a video about NoFap. They don't even follow it. Right. So just be careful with uh, who you're getting your advice from online. Now, the next thing I remember is in December of 2019. I was I was broke. Right. I was working a, a job that paid me a little above minimum wage. Right. And by August of 2021, I had a six figure job offer on the table. Now, what changed? Now, here's where I'm going to talk about the only thing on the self-improvement stuff that's worked for me. All right. For me personally. And that is focusing on one thing rather than focusing on doing these 20 different things and having like a perfectly optimized like sleep schedule and wake up schedule and all these things, right? I know there's going to be self-improvement YouTubers out there who are going to say, oh, uh, if you want to get ahead, you got to be optimized and you got to read one book a day. And it's all like, no, take that thought through it way out the window. Okay, we don't listen to those people. These people are putting a train of thought on us that's not going to serve us at all. Look, in an ideal world, of course, it would be like if I was to just create like the ideal human being, say I was to create like a robot or something. Of course, it would be best if they did no fab, if they woke up at six, um, they never wasted time watching TV, they never wasted time playing video games, they never uh, got caught in negative thought cycles, never had anxiety. Like that would be the perfect like specimen, right? But we are human beings, right? So if you are not able to follow all these, you know, ridiculous standards that these other self-improvement YouTubers put on us, right? If you're not able to follow them, that's totally fine. That's totally human right now. If you are able to follow them, then I'm guessing you probably wouldn't be watching this video and you think I'm full of shit, right? But if you are following so far and you relate to what the old me was like, then I'm just proposing a different way that worked for me. I'm not saying this is like the holy grail or something, you know, self-improvement is a very personal journey. Maybe you'll find a different thing to work for you, but here's what worked for me. Just focusing on one thing. When I got that, when I went from dead broke to getting a six-figure job, I committed myself for that, uh, what was it, like a year and a half. I committed myself 
through just coding, right? My computer science degree, I started my computer science studies and I was like, I don't give a shit if I don't do anything else productive all day. I don't care if I fap, don't fap, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, that's all noise. Did I do my computer science work today, yes or no? If I did, that's a productive day, right? If I spend uh, however many hours I had assigned that day on my work, that's a productive day. I'm happy with that day, right? Focusing on one thing rather than focusing on 20 different things it's kind of like going back to that saying, there's some saying which uh, I'm forgetting now, but it, it's something along the lines of there's a donkey and uh, it's hungry and it's thirsty. And on one side, uh, on you know, on, say on the left side, there's uh, a well of water and on the right side, there's food, right? And the donkey like tries to go for the food, but then it's like, oh no, actually I'm really thirsty. And then like it's trying to do both things at once. And when it tries to do this, it actually doesn't end up getting the water or the food. Right. That's the point I'm trying to make. I think when we try to do these 20 different things and then when we slip up on one of them, judge them, judge ourselves so harshly for it. We a our energy is so, you know, spread so thin because we're focusing on so much and b these negative thought cycles and guilt cycles are not productive whatsoever. So all I'm proposing, again, at least this will work for me, is just focusing on one thing. The rest, if you can do it, great. I'm not denying that no fab has its benefits. I'm not saying like watching porn is some super productive use of your time. If you can you no know, do no fab, you can you know stay off porn. You can wake up at six in the morning. You can commit to meditation and all that. Those are positive. Those are going to help you in your life. I would be it would be foolish of me to deny that. All I'm saying is, if you slip up on it, don't start beating yourself up and all this. Just but pick one goal, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be like for me. It was coding, computer science, whatever. It doesn't have to be that for you. Say you want to be a YouTuber. Did you do your YouTube work today, yes or no? If you did, that's a productive day. Say you want to get in shape, right? Did you meet your nutrition needs? Did you meet your workout goal today, yes or no? If you did, then that's a productive day, right? That's what I'm saying. So this is what worked for me. This has truly been a life-changing concept for me. And I hope this will help you out as well. And I just want to end this video off by saying, be kind to yourself throughout this process. Look, this is not an easy journey whatsoever, right? When I talk about self-improvement ruining my life, I, I came across this shit at like 17 or 18, right? And I remember all the pressure that I would put on myself about like, uh, oh, 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 when I go out in, so in public, I have to act like this. I got to be alpha, bro. And I got I to have this body language and I, and I got to talk to people like this. And I got to like, I had these 20 different, oh, hell, not even 20, like a million different standards that I would put on myself. Well, you got to be like this and you got to be like this and you got to be like this and you got to like, bro, you're an imperfect human being, right? If you're trying to meet like this perfection standard, like good luck, because it won't happen and you'll die trying, right? So be kind to yourself throughout this process. Be proud of yourself every single time. Even if you take a small step, say you were anxious to go to your boxing class, say you were anxious to go to like some social event, right? Once you go there, be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself for showing up. Regardless of whether it goes, how it goes, goes well, it doesn't matter. Right? It doesn't matter because, again, I look back at my life and I look, look, uh, look at how negative I was to myself for so much of it. Constantly beating myself up over every little uh, pointless thing. I look back at like half of it didn't even matter. Half of it didn't even matter. And that's what I'm saying. Like half these things, they're, they're not even that useful in getting you to your end goal. Right? So let's limit our focus just to what's going to get us to our end goal. And again, be proud of yourself every single day for showing up. Be kind to yourself, right? Stay positive. Put in the work, right? Hard work always pays off. This will be no exception. Put in the work. And in due time, you will reach your goal right now. I just want you to imagine for a second. Imagine you take this advice, you run with it, and your dating life is improving day by day by day, right? Your confidence in yourself is improving day by day by day and say, you're, you know, you decided to make your one thing like money or career, right? Whatever venture it is that you embarked on, you've been successful in it and your money is growing day by day by day. Now you got money to go out with friends, go out on dates, to support your family, all these things you always wanted to do, right? Imagine that. And that's the path you're on. Hey, keep working hard. I believe in you. But what I believe doesn't matter. What you believe matters. So I hope you believe in yourself too. That's all I got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Ultimately. I want this to be our positive little community where we help each other, support each other, and help each other get to the next level in life. So please come join the community. I'll leave my Instagram, TikTok in the description, also somewhere here. Please do support there as well. Please do like, comment, subscribe. I do kind of want to, hell if I'm being completely honest, I do want to.
give this YouTube stuff a try to make a career out of this. I do love my job. My job is honestly not bad at all. But the flexibility I'd get from this to be able to travel and, and you know, to, 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 to do more, to follow more of my passion. I, just, I guess the best way I can put it is to get paid to be myself would be better than any other job in the world. And that's what I'm trying to do. So please do subscribe and support. That will really help me get to my end goal. I'll talk to you later. Peace.